called gut belt deprogramming, and I'll take anybody. And then people could come in. What would? I, how would you deprogram that? Here's what you do. Uh, you had a vaccine. Take off the mask. Mm. You're atrophying at home with your parents who are huddling there. Mm. Go to school. Mm -hmm. Play with Johnny out there in the sandbox again. Mm -hmm. All of that. We have to. I'm not leave. allowed to do that. But go ahead. <laughs> Why not? I, no I, I won't say. Is that what the prescription is? Exactly. <laughs> All right, Siegel, enough out of here. So, Jack, um, we've seen what politics does in sports, and now we're seeing somebody, the people fighting back in the workplace, which I thought was pretty interesting. Where do you see this going? You know, it's a tough one. You know, I'm a, I'm a man of prayer. Yeah. So I get on my knees every night, and I pray to God to give me wisdom, knowledge, and discernment. Mm -hmm. But right now, I'm confused. <laughs> I really am. I'm confused because when you talk, you did your monologue, which was a great monologue, by the way. Thank you. And you started to talk about Saturday Night Live. Mm -hmm. And they are making a big deal out of Elon Musk. Now they're, they're the, the face of righteousness. Mm -hmm. Yes. On Easter, they had lap dancers on Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> These people have literally lost their mind or that lost their mind yeah where do we go from here um this country is in a point where we all have to lock arms even closer mm -hmm. uh, i think we need to show people how to love instead of always talking about what people aren't doing and making fun of what people aren't doing let's yeah. just show them how to do it let's be that example of love we can do that by going in your communities touching these kids and instead of making fun of all these folks on the left that have lost their mind Go give him a hug. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to go give strangers a hug. <laughs> wear your mask. Yeah, with my, wear my mask. My full body suit. Kennedy, you are often filled with love. Thank you. You Frank. participated in a uh, very special event on Saturday, and you're in for Kat because you actually married Kat. I did. You I have a picture of I officiated at her wedding. Yes. There we are, the three of us. <laughs> Her husband are absolutely beautiful people. They're such good people. And I wouldn't go that far. No, they are. They're, they're right in there, truly they're in okay love. They're okay people. But and it was the kind of wedding where we laughed, but you know, you cried as well because the depth of their love for each other. And it was a, a beautiful experience. And Jack's absolutely right. And that's what we need to do. We need to hang out with people that we care about. And you need to have something that you believe in and, and come from a place of optimism. And I always say as a libertarian, like, I don't want to change your mind, but I want to take you with me. Mm -hmm. Like, we're going somewhere, and it is going to be fantastic. And if I were an SNL cast member, I would be the first in line for a Tesla sex robot and a flying car. <laughs> Those people are foolish to do anything otherwise. It's true. They're missing an opportunity to become best friends with him. I would totally work on him for not a sex robot, but more like... Oh, me neither, Greg. <laughs> I want a flying bondage robot. <laughs> so I just go like this, Tyrus, like that, and it flies down and it ties me up. Cup of water and you're back to normal. <laughs> yes. No, you brought up, you, we were talking about Tim Scott last week, and you brought up uh, how uh, moving that was. And it was kind of interesting because he was able to get Joe Biden and Kamala to agree with him, but yet it really doesn't matter. <laughs> it's still... He's still you know, because he has a different mindset, and somewhere... We got confused with, especially for the a lot of the social justice thing. The whole point mm -hmm. of freedom and equality is be able to have your own independent ideas and beliefs in this country. Mm -hmm. Not the color of your skin dictates your voting habits or what you think. If you're successful and you want small government and you want church in your schools or you want this or that, whatever, and that falls in line to make you a Republican, they shouldn't say, well, thanks for coming, but... Um, you're black, you should be over there. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's ridiculous. And if the right was saying that, we would we'd be calling for all their jobs. The left is literally saying that. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they they insult us every time they turn around. If you're black and poor and you're not smart enough to get an ID, what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like no one else is. Everyone else has got their ideas. Yup, yup, four whites, we got ours. <laughs> We're the only ones that can't go to the DMV because we hate lines. <laughs> That's what That's it is. We just hate lines, right? I mean, it's they, they chime in on the stereotypes, and stereotypes seem to be to where now they're factual types. It's not, even the thing with, like, the secret three. Right. You know, like, I made a joke about, like, he was the bashful racist on Jeopardy. <laughs> so if he would have won four, and he goes like this, now he's in trouble with the WWE because he's a four horseman. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, then, then oh, if he wants five, what group is that? I mean, there's only so many things you can do with it. Kennedy, don't you dare. There's only so many things you can do with your hand. Oh, then number three. I mean, I guess yes. he could have went like this, and then that would have been sexually inappropriate. Or, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, you know, it's just, he won three times. And he said gypsy. Mm-hmm. When was the last time someone said gypsy and everyone in the bar said, oh, <laughs> sir? Like, we just, relax, America. Relax. Well, that, that's a good idea for a show. Relax, America. One hour of just really soft music. Vibrating TV. Yes. Up next, how the teachers' union is making the pandemic worse. How great is it that we get to?